In a world dominated by modern stealth fighters and high-tech drones, two iconic bombers from the Cold War era continue to loom large in strategic military planning. The American B-52 Stratofortress and the Russian 295 Bear have not only outlived most aircraft of their era, but remain key assets for the U.S. and Russian air forces. These bombers have evolved over decades, maintaining relevance in a rapidly changing world, adapting to new threats, and integrating modern technologies. So, in today's video, let's take a closer look at these two iconic aircraft, the American B-52 and the Russian 295, comparing their designs, capabilities, and the vital roles they continue to play in modern strategic operations. The B-52 Stratofortress and the 295 Bear both emerged in the 1950s as nuclear-capable, long-range bombers. The U.S. Air Force commissioned the B-52 in response to its need for a bomber capable of intercontinental flight to deliver nuclear weapons deep within Soviet territory. Boeing designed the B-52 with an eight-engine configuration, an unusual setup that allowed for the power and range the U.S. needed. First taking to the skies in 1952, the B-52 Stratofortress quickly became one of the most recognizable aircraft in the U.S. military's arsenal. Its design prioritized high-altitude performance and immense payload capacity, enabling it to remain a powerful asset through numerous upgrades and modernizations. The 295, known as the Bear, was Tupolev's answer to the same strategic demand within the Soviet Union. Unique in its design, the 295 is powered by four turboprop engines, a choice that gives it a slower but highly fuel-efficient profile, ideal for long-distance missions. First flown the same year as the B-52, the 295 stands out not only for its durability, but also for its unusual sound. The rapid speed of its propeller tips creates a loud, distinctive hum, which remains audible to observers on the ground. Both bombers are renowned for their endurance and ability to carry large payloads, but their performance and operational roles diverge. The B-52 has a maximum unrefueled range of over 14,000 kilometers, which, when combined with aerial refueling, allows it to reach targets virtually anywhere in the world. Its eight engines provide reliable thrust, enabling the B-52 to reach a maximum speed of around 960 kilometers per hour making it faster than the 295 but still short of supersonic speeds. The B-52 is highly versatile and capable of deploying a wide range of munitions, from precision-guided bombs to nuclear and conventional cruise missiles. Recent upgrades also include advanced radar, communication systems, and stealth enhancements, ensuring that this aging platform remains relevant in modern combat scenarios. The 295, while slower than the B-52, features an impressive operational range, capable of reaching over 15,000 kilometers without refueling. Its propeller-driven engines give it a cruising speed of about 880 kilometers per hour, allowing for extended patrols and long-range strike missions. Like the B-52, the 295 has been upgraded over time, especially in its weapon systems. The 295MS variant, introduced in the 1980s, was modified to carry modern cruise missiles, including the KH-101 long-range cruise missile. These missiles can travel more than 3,000 kilometers, giving the 295 the ability to strike targets far from Russian airspace. Over the decades, the roles of both the B-52 and 295 have evolved from strictly nuclear platforms to multifunctional strategic assets. The B-52, initially designed as a high-altitude nuclear bomber, has become a multi-role platform capable of conducting strategic bombing, close air support, and maritime operations. During Operation Desert Storm and subsequent conflicts, the B-52 demonstrated its capability for conventional warfare, delivering precision strikes in prolonged bombing campaigns. 
with recent upgrades under the U.S. Department of Defense's $48.6 billion modernization plan. The B-52 is set to remain in service until at least 2060, serving as a potent tool in the U.S.'s strategic arsenal more than a century since its first flight. The 295 also transitioned from a nuclear deterrent to a versatile long-range missile platform, particularly valuable in power projection and deterrence roles. Russia frequently uses the 295 for strategic patrols, often flying near NATO airspace to underscore its operational reach. The aircraft is central to Russia's long-range strike capabilities, notably during missions where it can launch precision-guided missiles without entering heavily defended airspace. This strategy allows the 295 to maintain its relevance in an era where aerial refueling and precision munitions define strategic reach. The B-52's avionics and electronic warfare capabilities have also seen significant upgrades over the years. Equipped with advanced radar, communication, and electronic warfare systems, the B-52 can operate in heavily defended airspace by using its countermeasure suites to disrupt enemy radar and missiles. The latest upgrades include a modern ASA radar system that provides enhanced situational awareness as well as integrated sensor and communication systems that improve target acquisition and threat identification. The 295, while not as advanced as the B-52 in terms of electronic warfare and sensor technology, has been updated with new radar and navigation systems that improve its targeting accuracy. The aircraft's defensive systems have been upgraded with chaff and flare dispensers, though its reliance on older avionics makes it more vulnerable in heavily contested airspace. However, with its primary role as a missile launch platform, the 295 can often strike from beyond the range of advanced air defenses, leveraging Russia's long-range cruise missile technology to compensate for its less sophisticated avionics. Neither the B-52 nor the 295 was built for stealth so their survivability now relies on tactical deployment and long-range strike capabilities. The B-52, equipped with advanced electronic warfare systems and capable of launching long-range missiles, can operate from beyond the reach of most air defenses, minimizing its exposure in contested airspace. The 295, known for its distinctive turboprop sound and large radar profile, relies on its ability to carry and launch long-range cruise missiles like the KH-101 from a safe distance. This approach allows the 295 to contribute to strategic deterrence without directly entering heavily defended areas. Both the B-52 and the 295 represent the enduring legacy of Cold War-era military engineering with each aircraft set to continue operating well into the future. The B-52 is expected to serve at least 36 more years, with planned upgrades to its engines, avionics, and weapon systems to keep it relevant in future conflicts. As it continues to evolve, the B-52's role will likely shift further towards strategic strike capabilities, bolstered by improved efficiency and modernized technology. The 295 also remains a mainstay in Russian military operations, with continued modernization efforts to keep it competitive. Russia has prioritized upgrades to the 295's weapon systems, focusing on integrating advanced missile capabilities rather than attempting to retrofit the bomber itself. As long as it serves as a viable platform for Russia's cruise missiles, the 295 will maintain its role in Russian strategic deterrence. Despite their age, both aircraft have adapted to remain effective, embodying the resilience and innovation of their respective air forces. While they have different strengths, the B-52's versatility and the 295's unique missile capabilities make them invaluable in their own right. As these bombers continue to fly well into the 21st century, they serve as a testament to the durability of Cold War engineering and the ongoing need for strategic deterrence. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.